Hey guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and today we're going to look at some fish I picked up this week from a local breeder. Now a lot of times uh, I buy my fish directly from overseas or as you know if you've been around for a while I breed a lot of fish outdoors. I breed some fish indoors but one of my favorite things to do is to buy large groups of fish that have been bred by talented hobbyists um, who have chosen to work with a particular fish and then have great success and you know not everyone is equipped to ship fish like I do or like I will be doing so as long as they have a decent sized group I will buy them in bulk set them up in an aquarium and then offer them for sale and it's a really great way to have to help out the hobbyists who have had success as well as provide my customer base with really healthy homegrown fish so let's take a look at a couple of species I picked up this week, one of which is Impeyecthes carry or the purple emperor tetra, and the other is a little wild endler type from Venezuela, both of which are gorgeous fish and I'm pretty excited to have nice large groups of them. Let's look at some fish. Now these are the Impeyecthes cari or the purple emperor tetras. And they get about an inch and a half. I've done a species spotlight on them before last year, so I'll go ahead and link to that uh, if you want to learn more about their individual needs. But it's pretty obvious where they get their name or their common name, that royal or purple tetra. Uh, the males in particular are absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of Sarah Onip in this aquarium so that they'll hold still and we can get a really good look. Now, as with any fish I bring into the fish room, even though these are locally bred, I will do a brief quarantine period. So they're in a relatively bare aquarium at this time. I did stick in a piece of wood and some substrate. The substrate is Sarah's anthracite, and I really just wanted to try it out because it's really beautiful. But as you can see, these guys are so beautiful look at the rich color on the boys I just thought you guys would really get a kick out of them now these are fish that are especially well suited to a high-tech aquarium even though they have a reputation of being a little bit shy um, and they also come from tan and stained waters I find that they hold up really really well in a high light aquarium um, especially one that is planted and that that it when kept in a good number of at least 10 to 12 these guys are absolutely fearless. They're wonderful directional schoolers and really just look great staying in that top half of the aquarium. So I was excited to get another large group of them. I think that these guys are a fish that are often overlooked um, for our planet aquariums and would really make a, a very bold, bold statement in the carefully aquascaped aquarium. Let's go take a look at the endlers I picked up. These are the wild class endlers and you can see how massive some of the females are. Um, these guys were collected from Laguna de los Platos. Uh, pardon my pronunciation on that. In Venezuela. And the person who gave me this group of fish even had the name of the person who collected them. And it's especially helpful when you're working with something like a live bearer um, that is easily hybridized to have this sort of information so that you can make sure you're offering um, up the real deal. So these are true wild class, class N, Endler's live bears out of Venezuela and the boys are just stunners. I mean, look at the coloration that they get. Now I'm considering setting up a, uh, a nano and a new nano and I think I may utilize some of these guys in that because those boys are just whew, absolutely gorgeous. Now with any, as with any live bear, it's important to make sure you have a plan for all the eventual fry because <laughs> these 
like all live bears, are really prolific little breeders. And one of the reasons the person wanted to get rid of this colony is that the local market was a bit saturated with them. Um, but again, because I can ship fish, it's not hard for me to spread them around um, to hobbyists all over the U.S. So it doesn't bother me when local markets are saturated. But you can see just how rotund some of those big females are. There's fry everywhere, and the boys are just beautiful. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing some of the new pickups in the fish room this week. Make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell on so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I will be in Canada this weekend. I'm hoping to get some footage before I go, but it's possible I may miss Sunday's video because I will be speaking. Now, it is a members-only event, but it's only $25 a year to be a member, and I have information on that on my website, my business Facebook page, and uh, yeah, so I hope to see a lot of you there.